So I'm Dr. Matthew Barr. I'm a lecturer in the School of Computing Science. So the project was called Gaming for Graduates. It was about using commercial video games to try and help develop um, useful skills that we call graduate attributes. Things like communication skill, confidence, resourcefulness and uh, adaptability. We adopted a randomized control trial. We recruited 100 undergraduate students. We split them randomly into two groups. One group was going to play the selected video games over a semester and the other group did not. The intervention group, the group that played the video games, came along to our lab on a drop-in basis and they played games like Portal 2, Gone Home, Borderlands 2, um, Minecraft. So a real mixture of games there that exercise different skills. Gone Home requires a lot of critical thinking to try and piece together the clues to tell the story. Team Fortress 2 requires teams to come together and collaborate and assume different roles in order to get the job done. The students in Minecraft were able to cooperate with each other and there were some nice instances of more experienced players helping less experienced players master the game. The key thing was that we played different games all the time. So students were exercising their resourcefulness and their adaptability because right, we were throwing new challenges at them all the time. And we found previously validated measures that we could use to measure communication skill, resourcefulness and adaptability. Then we were able to measure those attributes in our students before and after the intervention. And what we found was statistically significant gains in the game playing group compared to the control group. They also pointed to other attributes that we didn't directly measure, such as being more ethically and socially aware. For example, in Gone Home, players get to piece together the story of a young girl's coming out. We published a couple of papers, one in Computers and Education, and the other in Computers and Human Behavior. The work attracted some media attention. So we ended up being featured on BBC, in uh, the Times Higher Education, and internationally as well. The great thing about doing this work here at the University of Glasgow has been the existing graduate attribute framework. A lot of time has been spent refining the attributes that we think our students should be developing, and that's been done in collaboration with industry, with students, and with academics. What people can learn from this is that games do have a, maybe a role to play in education, which I hope will help make it easier for people to do work in this space in the future.